Oh, it's just everything that's great wrapped up in one convenient package. I don't know, it's just something I grew up on. Burritos are the best, man. I just get the meat, rice and beans. Sour creams and cheese. I like my refried beans. Oh, I love salsa verde with my burrito, but then obviously pico de gallo with the chips. What more could you ask for? Salsa, I like it kind of spicy. Guacamole. I love avocado. My dog's name is Avocado. Every burrito I've gotten here is like too big for me to finish in one sitting. With the mission style burrito, you just get so much more. And who can argue with that? I think that burritos are the quintessential San Francisco comfort food at this point. A mission style burrito is very embellished and kind of oversized. It's got a lot more ingredients in it than a regular burrito. When you're going to San Francisco, be sure to come to the Cumbre today. Edward Duran and uh, manager and proprietor at Taqueria La Cumbre. Uh, La Cumbre is a family-owned business. It's been in operation since 1967. The business was started by their founders, which were Raul and Micaela Duran. Burritos were something different, and Raul thought, well, with the flour tortilla and grandma's recipe for the flour tortillas, we can stretch out the, the tortilla and actually make something bigger and make something that provides someone with enough food to get through the entire day. In other words, it was kind of the equivalent of a brown bag lunch, but in a tortilla. They're portable. It's not uncommon to notice a person walking up Valencia and they're chowing on a burrito as they're walking. The, the mobility of the burrito is really the appealing aspect of the burrito. I'm Patrick Cossere and I'm the owner of El Faro restaurant. My wife and I bought it eight years ago and she used to work here in the 80s. It's a good food and it's, it's a good price. And it's pretty big size, burrito, pretty big meal. El Faro has a big history, probably the biggest history of any burritos in it. They've been here since 1961. At one time it was the only place where they made burritos in San Francisco. They said it was big lines, big lines, many people working here. The original owner started El Faro, Mr. Febronio, and he, I guess, I don't know, had five or six at one time. We've been trying to keep it the same as it was originally. That's why many people ask, is it the original owner still here? Because we try to make it the way it was before, you know. Well, I wasn't around, I really don't know. This, you know, people here claim the first ones and people on Valencia claim the first one over there. Hector and Fabrona, the group that started El Faro, wonderful people. You know, and when you, when you start together like that, at that time, everyone knows everybody. And so, you know, we all have our stories. They say they, we say we. All signs point to a place called El Faro over on 20th and Folsom. Back then, this was in the early 1960s, it was a market and a group of local firemen would come in regularly and one day they wanted something besides sandwiches, so he whipped up sort of an enormous version of burritos for them. That's kind of where legend has the mission style burrito sort of having its birthplace. And then La Cumbre, was the next talkery to come on the scene later in the 60s. I don't think it's possible to narrow it down to just one. There's a lot of great burritos out here. Taqueria Cancun. El Farlitos. La Taqueria. Papalote has always been one of my favorites, and the carne asada here is about as good as it gets in San Francisco. Los Coyotes. Taqueria Guadalajara has 80 different salsas. La Espiga de Oro. La Cumbre. My favorite spot is La Corneta. They have the best prawn burrito in the city, hands down. Come on, let's not, it's, it's not up for debate. El Castillito up on church. El Burrito Express out in the sunset, that's where I live, they're pretty great, and they deliver. I mean, in San Francisco, you can't, you can't go wrong.
You're not gonna go a week without hitting the taqueria like once or twice. It's kind of like a community center. It's part of the fabric of the, of the neighborhood, part of the fabric of the community. The burrito became kind of a go-to food for people who really, really needed to have something made quickly, had something made well. It's a balanced meal. I think if it all plays together, then I think that's the most important ingredient. It's not just one ingredient, it's kind of everything together. And if you have all those ingredients meshing all simultaneously, that first bite you take is like having, having those pop rocks explode in your mouth. They're so synonymous now with San Francisco that they're really closely intertwined, much the same way that, say, like fish tacos in San Diego are, or like steaks in Texas, or pizza in New York.